Another factor that influences computer speed is what's commonly called RAM. Okay, well, let's look at an example right here. This is configuration B, and it has 16 GB of something called DDR3 system memory, or RAM. And basically, a RAM is just an acronym meaning random access memory. Um, does that mean anything? Not really. All memory is random access. In the old days it wasn't, but now it is. And uh, it probably a better way to refer to it would be to just call it as main memory. And uh, if you look at memory or RAM, it looks like this. It's basically a little printed circuit board about four inches long, and it has a couple of chips on there, which each of them holds a lot of of uh, possible data. And we can, um, it basically it's a very temporary data storage. It's fast, but it's expensive. And we call it volatile, meaning that it loses its data in a power failure. RAM sizes or main memory sizes range nowadays from 256 megabytes up to 16 gigabytes, which is quite a bit, quite a bit. Of course, again, RAM is random access memory. Do you need to know that? Not really, because it really, again, it doesn't really mean anything. All memory is random access. Now, one of the best ways to speed up your PC is just to buy more memory. Memory continually gets cheaper and cheaper. So uh, maybe memory was expensive when you bought your PC, but now a year or two years later, the price of memory has gone down quite a bit, and you could buy some, and that will give you a nice bump up in speed. In terms of, of memory, there's a lot of jargon out there, and basically it, it just confuses you. Uh, the most important things are RAM, of course, which again doesn't really mean anything. And the other one is ROM, R-O-M, read-only memory. Okay, That's important because that's the memory the, that stores the programs that the computer uses when it wakes up. Okay, the computer wakes up, it doesn't really know anything. It looks at the ROM, and the ROM basically tells it to A, turn on the hard drive, and B, follow whatever is there. And whatever is there is the operating system, Windows or Mac OS. Okay, now uh, when we turn on the computer, we sometimes call it booting. All right, we can cold boot it or warm boot it. Cold boot it basically means the computer's cold. It's been off, completely off. Warm boot, of course, it means it's been, we just basically restarted it. You do that a lot if some problems occur and um, you just restart it or what the, um, what we say is to warm boot it. Okay. Uh, memory is a good uh, 4 gigabytes is very good nowadays, the DDR3, whatever that is, uh, <laughs> that's fine. But uh, 4 gigabytes, of course, is, is fine. If you want to go a little faster, 16 gigabytes will speed up the system quite a bit. It will basically will allow you to have several programs running at the same time and allow you to switch from one to the other much more quickly than you would otherwise. And nowadays we do that a lot. We have a browser running and we have Word or Excel running also. And maybe we may have one or two other programs as well, or email program in the background as well. So it makes it easy, very easy for us to switch from one program to another. And uh, not only easy, but a lot faster too. Okay, good. Now, there, of course, there are some other factors which will Im improve the speed of our computer. And we'll talk about that next.